Hello my dear friend baby or kids today i asked a story the name of story a day in the zoo so what is the story let's start it is one thing to visit a zoo as an ordinary member on the public it is quite another thing to own a zoo and live in it is certainly enables you to rush out at any hour of the day or night to observe the animals it also means you are on duty 24 hours a day the average zoo day begins just before dawn the sky will be slightly tinged with yellow when you are awakened by the bird song you can hear a robin singing you hear the rich fruity slightly hoarse cries of the turakos and a joyful black bird as the last of his song dies the white headed truss bursts into an excited cry looking out into the queda road on the velvet green lawns you can see an uncertain group of pheasants searching the dewy grass a male pheasant is dancing his burnished tail raised like a fountain in the sunlight at 8 o'clock the zoo staff arrives you can hear them shout greetings to each other sound made by their buckets and brushes are heard you go out into the cool fresh morning to see if all is right with the zoo the monkeys and other mammals have live in the long to store it grounds house here you found a lot of activity the gorillas have been set out of their cages while the cages are cleaned they glop about on the floor with the high spirit of children just out of school they try to range the electric heaters from their so- sockets of brick the fluorescent lights stephen broom in hand stands guard over the apes inside the gorillas cages mike plums plums and ever smiling is busy anglo with jeremy the sweep of the mess on the floor and scratcher face what saddest everything they as you are you is all right all the animals excited and eager at the start of the a new day bustle about the cases atm the block syllabus ep kissing to the hour bearing his sheet add you in greeting upstairs in the house the parrots and parakeets salute you with a cacophony of sounds suku 
the gray parrot cries i am a very fine bird i hoes of quick footed bright eyed mongooses patter busy busily around their cages the hair armadillo lies on its back paws and nose twitching you pass slowly down the house to the big cage at the end where the turacos now live the male pti has reared well in west africa he peers at you from one of the higher perches then if you call to me he will fly down and land on a perch nearest to you then he will throw back his head and give a husky cry karu 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 ku 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 you come out of the bird house then walk walk to the reptile house here in a pleasant temperature of 80 degrees the reptiles doze snakes regard you calmly with lidless eyes frogs make gulping sounds lizards lie dreamt over rocks and tree trunks at 10 o'clock the zoo gates open and the first rush of visit ross around arrive as they come flying into the grounds everyone has to be alert this is not to ensure that the any males do not hurt the people but to make sure that the people do not hurt the animals if an animal is asleep they want to throw stones at it or prod it with sticks to make it move you have found visit the street to give the simpanzi lighted cigarettes and razor blades the ants realized behavior of some human beings in a zoo has to be seen to be believed towards evening the visiting clyde thins out the striking rays of the sunlight the cage where the cows pigeons live as the light fades the robin ceases to sing and flies off to roost in the mimosa tree the white face owls that have spent all the pretending to be green tree stems now upon large golden eyes shadows are creeping over the far flower beds and rockery there is a sudden chorus from the chimpanzee bedroom you know they are quarreling over who should have the stone as you lie in bed you watch through the window the moon separating itself from the shadow of the trees you hear the lines lines cup soon it will be done and the quarts of bars will take over the cold morning air will ring with song